Also, greetings, mighty model maniacs. This is Panzaman Bill, Panzaman's Bunker, coming to you with update ski number three. Also, not number two, not number four, but number three. Count them three and one, two, three. <laughs> of Styrene Panzer, hey, Rosy. German Bummer. Group build. <laughs> Boomba. <laughs> All right, fellas, time for an update ski. Haven't been doing much work on this, and I finally decided to knock some uh, knock some procedures out tonight. Okay, so let's show you what I've been up to. All right, Yavo, we da see. All right, here she is, fellas, coming down to the home stretch. Since you last saw her, I put the decals on her. Got some nice decals applied. Got a Jagschwer or, or whatever it's called, the, the unit crest there. I got the uh, Balkan crosses on it, code numbers. Even the dreaded swastika. Ah! Dreaded swastika, no! <laughs> but got them, got this part done. Coming down to the home stretch. I think the decals worked out well. I had to outsource them all the, the crappy ones that came with the kit. I tried to save them with some uh, decal fix and all, but they were just shot. They just crumbled up on me. So good thing I had a reservoir of uh, spare decals laying around. All right, got the decals all on her. Yeah, Bill, looking good. Tell them about them spinners, though. That those are really nice. Y'all have all here heard get hypnotized by the spinners. Hypnotized. <laughs> did the uh spirals down the spinners the the caps on the spinner hubs neat way of doing that i, I should do a little uh tutorial on that you paint the whole thing white or in this case a silver gray and then you go in with a pencil easier to do with a pencil because you can erase it off draw in the spiral and then go back in and cut in the dark areas around it and any pencil that's left over on the white, you can just go in with a really soft tip eraser, like one of them, and just clean them off. Easy peasy. You don't have to go crazy trying to paint the spiral in. You just go ahead and do it that way. It's a lot easier to do. Also, got the decals on the bottom. Plus, I got the bombs on. Yeah, now she's looking good. Got the bombs in there and everything. Plus, as you can see, I did a real quick... Uh, thinned black wash through all the, the panel lines that I did have. Most all the surface details raised. I'm going to have to do a pencil line on that. But I ran a uh, thinned uh, black enamel down through it and, and wiped it off with a uh, dampened rag with some thinner on it. Cleaned it up a little. But she's looking good, fellas. All I got to do next is the very, very complicated glazings. I got to do that, sp that spot down here for the, the ventral gunner. Got to paint up that glazing and then do this really, really complicated top part. And it all consists of like uh, this back portion, this nose portion. I got to put the gun in for the top, the turret cap, and that's the ventral gun position. Plus there's a gun that comes out the front, comes out the front here. So, I mean, there's a... This is the most complicated part of the build, fellas, right here. Painting these, uh, getting the glazings, uh, panel line, getting the glazing, uh, lines separated on there, getting them painted on there, and getting the turrets on there and everything, getting it all fixed to there. But before I do anything here, I'll bathe this in crystal clear, uh, you know, um, yeah, the stuff. Pledge, pledge care with future shine. <laughs> ah! Where's the disaster? Oh, you bitch. <laughs> oh, flumbly bumbly. All right, fellas, till next time. This is Panzerman Bill of Panzerman's Bunker saying, Oh, Vita Zane, my dominant head. Waka waka. Grendel. Grendel. Where you at? Hi, stinker. <laughs>
Hope you like it, fellas. Coming along. See you next time.